Bang that comes the troubling mess. The melody from Queen Ayobalogu spills gently, piercing through the spirits and bodies of merrymakers who have come to witness the engagement ceremony between Khadija Ojirobi and Onufemi Agadu at the venue event center, Victoria Island, Lagos, on Thursday, April 4, 2019. <laughs> It was a traditional wedding with trappings of sensation and trashings of fascination. The sea of luster, the swashes of colors, and the succulent appearances of guests all substantiated the quality of the assembly and the characters that made up the stage craft. <laughs> Femi Agazi, the younger brother of the late former governor of Indo State, had led his entire clan from Ijuobe in the Kitipupa council area of the state to pay homage and request the pleasure of Mr. Jimo and Mrs. Abosade Ujiobe from Idaba local government, Kogi State, in the marital journey between their children. <laughs> Coordinated by Folusha Onujimi, the popular TV presenter and other notable anchors, the marriage proceedings copiously bred the modernization of culture in a spectacle of love. <laughs> All which culminated in a presentation and acceptance of letter of intent. It was read by the bride's cousin, Sonia Peters. The event was also an avenue to celebrate the groom's father, Femi Agadi, who clocked a new age on this very day. The arrival of the groom, Femi, alongside his friends, sparkled a frenzy aura in the hall. on sky blue attire, the hairy groom responded accordingly to the dictates of the anchors. He thanked the parents. In no time, the swashbuckling bride made her entry in company of her breezy eye. <laughs> Tall, tender and tantalizing, Khadija to give a good account of herself before harvesting marital blessings from her parents. She was also given a warm welcome by her new parents. Yeah. She joined her hobby, who prayed for her passion. <laughs> from the engagement items, she picked the Holy Bible and waved it to all, while the ring knotted their ring was retrieved and inserted in her finger by the groom. They cut their engagement cake, and the union was formalized by the two families. <laughs> This signals the birth of gyration at the venue as Ayobalogu held everyone spellbound with her cool music. The couple in their apparel switch made their grand entry amidst fireworks to party non-stop to their new beginning. Balo Gunderata took over the reign of merriment till the late hours of the night. <laughs> On Saturday, all roads led to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Christ Church, Bagada, Lagos, for the solemnization of holy matrimony 
between Khadijah and Khadijah. The guests pushed into the warm embrace of calmly worship that wafted gently across the premises. Led by her father, the bride Khadijah had walked into the heavenly renditions to be joined with her man. In earnest, the marital rites were performed, vows were made, and the couple were declared and presented married by the man of God. Shalaman leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. In his brief exhortation, Pastor Yomi Sonny gave the couple some tidbits on how to build their home on the solid rock. I was talking to Femi then. I said, if you find your best friend with Khadija in your bedroom, what will you do? How will you react? He said, it'll be cool. I said, cool? The truth of the matter, 90% of us we will react. But if you are naked to one another, you will not react. Why? Because you trust. Because nakedness comes with trust. The couple and their parents signed the marriage register, symbols of love, exchange, and dance patterns to the great songs from the choir. Pastor J.T. Kalejaye then blessed the couple. Kalejaye sounded a note of advice that would end the couple a successful home. Tell me, there's this adage that says you open your eyes wide before marriage. But after marriage, what do you do? You shut them. My brothers and my sisters, I'd like to present to you the latest couple in the whole world. The recessional hymn brought the service to a glorious end. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Look up to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give them. Guests thereafter made their way to the venue for a mouth watering reception that announced the status and pedigrees of the couple's parents. <laughs> The lifting decor, the lovely color, and the luminous center stage plunged the entire hall into a bottle of beauty with a cross section of burnished faces that besieged the arena. Ebony Band was in its delivery best, pulling up the nerves and serenading the glorious ambience. Parents set the ball rolling with their arrival. <laughs> it was followed by the groom's parents. Thus paved way for the incoming of the newlyweds, heralded by their bridal tree. There were dance contests between the groom's men and the bridal ladies, all which complemented the couple's arrival dresses. The chairman of the occasion, Mr. Kayode Falowo, urged them to be each other's best friend. Then they cut their cake, coordinated by the wife of the Ondo State Governor, Arabi Rebeti Akode. observed their first marital assignment, Khadija and Femi had their first romantic dance. 
into the perfect harmony. Daughter and mother son dance followed suit. Then the two parents jointly stepped on stage to measure up with the sensational moments filled with a spark of love. Soon, the dance floor became a frenetic center as everyone joins the couple and their parents to celebrate the deed of a new beginning. Femi, a young visionary entrepreneur, had caught a friendship time with his better half, the DJ, a real estate specialist about 15 years ago. After nurturing their dream and paddling the boat of love jealously, they waited the storm of long courtship and put their target on the altar of matrimony. The dashing room, only Femi, the chip of the old block, is the song of a pastor, author, politician, and estate management tycoon, Sunday Umukemi the Ondo State Commissioner for Education, Science, and Technology. His personal pedigree, societal influence, political class, and executive position profoundly spoke volume of the quality of attendance composed of notable personalities in the society. Especially from the industrial government, led by the state government, Arapu Rotimi Akiribi, together with his wife, Dickens Olubu Sola, a director at the Lagos State Ministry of Education, Alausa, as well as the widow and children of his late elder brother and former governor of the Ndo State, Olushebu Akiribi, the Agadus went all out to accord their guests a memorable trip and ensure the two day wedding fiesta was a bounce of success. To witness now, my situation and to bring in the daughter into my family. They are children of God, they know God, and I pray that the good Lord will uphold them to the end. Where will the first man in town? God will join them together. So we both are showing the gates that will prosper. They will continue to love their son in the mighty name of Jesus. He's a man who is confident, he has good prospects. And he's serious, my dear. Responsible, God fearing. He's everything I want to do. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. She, when she entered my life, she completed me. She makes me happy. She's God fearing. She's just the best woman that I've ever been with. From the Red Habit TV crew, we congratulate Khadija and Femi on their new beginning. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.